Well, hello there, folks. How are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual. And I hope that I find you very well indeed. And thanks for popping over to check out this very easy toffee apple crumble recipe. Apple crumble always goes down well in this house. But see, when you introduce the toffee sauce, it just takes it to a whole other level. Like I said, it's very, very simple to make. Very traditional, an apple crumble, I feel. I think most, you know, most countries have this in one form or the other. You know, my gran used to make this, my mother used to make this, and it's lovely served warm with either ice cream or double cream if you don't have any ice cream. So the first thing we're going to do is do the toffee sauce. All of these ingredients will be in the description box underneath the video. So pop in some butter. You can use unsalted or salted completely up to yourself. To this, we're going to add some golden syrup. If you can't find golden syrup, corn syrup will do. And then we're going to add in some brown sugar. This is soft brown sugar as well. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. The last ingredient is going to be some double cream. If you can't find double cream, heavy cream will do. And that's all of the ingredients for your toffee sauce. Now, all you're going to have to do is let this come up to the boil. Give it a good stir just to make sure everything is nicely combined. So just heat this gently until it comes up to the simmer and then up to the boil. And you want to boil this for about three or four minutes. And that is you done. It's as simple as that. I think sometimes we think these things are a lot more complicated than they are but they're really not so once it's been bubbling away for a few minutes just turn your heat off but continue to stir your mixture and it will turn from this sort of crater <laughs> lava looking mixture into a lovely smooth toffee sauce so just keep stirring that until it is lovely and smooth and the longer you leave this sitting the thicker it's going to get so that's had a few minutes just sitting on its own and you will see it getting thicker just like this and this is ideal so you can just set this to the side and go on with your apples so i'm going to be using eating apples just because if you use cooking apples they do have a tendency to break down a lot more and they go into sort of mush whereas i wanted my apples to you know remain quite chunky so i have used eating apples and if you use something like granny smith you know they're going to be quite tart which i was looking for so just peel those and cut them into bite-sized pieces Go over to your cooker again and you want to pop another wee bit of butter in the bottom of your pan. Just make sure it's nice and melty. And we're just going to pop your apples in there and give these a saute for about five minutes just to soften them up a good bit. So just make sure they're well coated in the butter and give them a few minutes just simmering away on their own. Once they've had a few minutes, come back and you can either add the toffee sauce into the apples like I'm doing here or you can just transfer your apples to an oven dish and cover them with the toffee sauce. It's completely up to you. I like the idea of cooking the apples in the toffee sauce. So that's just what I decided to do. Now you just want to give these about another five minutes just to soften up another good bit. But like I say, you're not looking for these to be mushy. They will hold their shape because they are eating apples. So like I said, give them a simmer if you're doing it this way for about five minutes and then you're ready to move, move on to the crumble, which is your last step. Really simple again. So pop into a bowl some self-raising flour. To that, we're going to add some chilled butter. Now again, use salted or unsalted. It's completely up to you. You just want to rub the butter into the flour until it's all nicely combined. And don't worry if there's a wee bit of butter in there still hanging around. That is just going to add to the crispiness of your crumble or the crunchiness. To this, I'm going to add some soft brown sugar. So just mix that in with your fingers. Just make sure it's nicely distributed between your flour and butter. And the last thing I'm going to do is add in a handful of flaked almonds. If you can't get flaked almonds, just use, you know, the, the powdered almonds if you prefer. I like the flaked almonds because it gives you a nice texture. And all you have to do now is assemble. So by now your apples should be done. And don't they look wonderful? Look how sticky and gooey and brown. And let me tell you, the smell of these things was absolutely, oh, it was just amazing. So into the bottom of your oven dish, pop your apples and your toffee sauce and just make sure they are nice and even and well spaced out. A nice wee platform for your crumble 
to sit on top of. And all you have to do now is pop your crumble on top as much or as little as you like. I like to put it all in and just make some wee divots and sort of wee holes and things just to roughen up the top of your crumble, just to make sure it's not completely flat because it will flatten out a wee bit anyway in the oven. So pop it into your oven, but, you know, between 20 and 25 minutes, just until it goes lovely and bubbly around the edges and it's just starting to go a sort of dark brown colour on the top. But do let this cool down for a few minutes before you eat it because this stuff is like lava and you will burn the mouth off yourself. So yeah, you just you can just see the glossiness from that sauce. Now you won't need much of this because it's very, very sweet and very rich and that toffee sauce is obviously very sweet and very rich. This is perfect with some ice cream but I didn't have any ice cream so we just had some double cream and it was absolutely marvellous. Highly recommend you give that one a go if you do like things that are on the sweeter side. So thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you back again if you've not subscribed yet. Please consider subscribing just before you go and a big thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page to the channel members here and for you all for leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well it's all very much appreciated so thank you all for everything that you do and I will catch up with you during the week for my wee shopping and bagging back on Sunday for meals of the week or even back next week for another wee recipe and my degusta box which I think is coming next week as well and if you're not following me on Instagram yet I'm what's for tea three over there and it would be lovely to see you because obviously I post pictures and videos and things that don't make it over here to YouTube but whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your day a rest of your week as well and I'll catch you off as soon back here on what's for tea bye now